Hello YouTube, this is The Bucket coming at you today with my SIG P320. This is an AXG Legion, and as you can see, I've done some modifications, and part of the fun of this gun is the fact that you can modify it and kind of make it the way you want it to, and kind of have some fun hanging uh, ornaments on it, kind of like a Christmas tree. So, uh, as you guys have seen, I am fairly accurate with this particular firearm, and part of that is due to lots of training, and part of that is due to some of the um, extras that I got. So when I picked up this P320, and you could check the video um, talking a little bit more about why I selected this one, I, I, I really liked the fact that it was upgradable. So, uh, I knew that on this particular gun, I was going to want to run optic. Um, I knew I was going to want to put a light on it, and I thought I was going to go ahead and uh, have some fun making it just kind of fun and putting on different grips. As I uh, did a little bit of research, I found out that, you know, these grips were kind of my favorite. I'm kind of a Legion fanboy. I had never owned a Legion before, and I wanted to own a Legion, so I kind of really like these grips. And the fact that they just have a really good grippy te texture, and I found that I really felt like I was getting a good purchase on it, I decided to go ahead and stick with these grips. One of the things that I was kind of excited about when I, uh, when I thought about this particular gun is the idea of a gas pedal or a thumb rest. So the first thing I did is I went online and I went and I purchased a Go Guns gas pedal. It's this one right here. Let's go ahead and take it out of the package. I have the original takedown lever in the bag there. So this is what you look at and what you see on a lot of gun YouTube uh, video people. They went ahead and they have this particular thumb rest. And I really like Go Guns because they talk a lot about what the purpose of this is. So many people think that the purpose of this gas pedal is to push down on the gun. And the, what Go Guns talks about is it's less about pushing down and pushing in towards the chamber of the firearm. So he talks a lot about this being a access point where you can put your thumb on the gas pedal and push in, not necessarily push down. I went ahead and I picked this up. I believe these are selling for about $68. I bought this on the SIG website. And when I got it, I really, really enjoyed it. I, I felt it was really good. It gave my kind of my brain a way of going this is where your thumb goes and I loved his videos because it really talked a lot about this is how you should do it and it, a lot of it is about how you put the thumb on it and then this hand your off hand does a lot more grip than your strong hand does and I found that maybe more from his videos than actually the product itself I kind of started to be able to shoot a little bit better at that point I did see the Align thumb rest, which is on my gun right here. The Align thumb rest, I believe, at the time of this video, sells for about $55. I went ahead and put the thumb rest on one gun, and I put the gas pedal on another. Me and the Goat Whisperer, we went out, sorry, not the Goat Whisperer, Tanfolio went ahead and went out and did some shooting, and we both really liked the thumb rest more than we liked the go guns now that does not mean that the go guns was bad i think it was really really good it did it did its job really well but i felt like i got a little bit more grip on it and i do like the idea where go guns talks a lot about pushing in i do like the align because it allows me to continue to push in but also kind of gets me some downward access uh, access on the gun that allows me to be more of a natural pointer and to mitigate recoil a little bit more. So if you think about Go Guns, I'm not saying that it's a bad product. I think you will be really happy with it if you get it. If you're asking the bucket's opinion, I'm really glad that I have the Align and I'm gonna go ahead and keep the Align on my gun. So that was one of the first upgrades that I went ahead and put on my P320. And again, this is why I am why I like these upgrades for me. These may not be for you. Next up is the red dot. Now, as you can see here, I went with the SIG Romeo 1 Pro. This is really designed for these guns. It is a Delta Point Pro footprint. One of the things I really do not like about the SIG optic footprint is they've gone with a D DPP. There aren't a lot of them out on the market. And when I got this firearm, I was super, super excited because they had talked 
they actually had on there that it was a DPP slash RMR footprint. And there are so many more options for the RMR or the Trigicon or the C footprint, whatever you want to call it. I call it the RMR. I liked it. I got this home. I took off the plate and found out that, yes, you can hang a RMR on here, but you have to have a filler plate to go ahead and put this to mount them on there. And SIG did not put screws in with the gun. I think their thought process was, we'll put all the screw screws we need in with the red dots that we're selling, so we don't need to put them in with the gun. Which, I understand why they did that. Unfortunately, for somebody that may want some more freedom to select what they want, I was a little upset by it. Now, the good thing about it is, is the Romeo 1 Pro is a great red dot. At the time of this video, these are selling for anywhere from $350 to $450. I went ahead with a 3 MOA. They have a 6 MOA. I do the, like the fact that they have this... Um, this cover that you could put on your red dot that will help keep it uh, clean, help keep it protected. I think that's a really nice option. They don't currently offer an enclosed emitter red dot for the Delta Point Pro site through SIG, but I really like this. And for this type of firearm, I'm probably not gonna be doing a lot of shooting in the mud. So while a closed emitter is a cool idea I do think this is really good and I've been really happy with it again we go back over here to my targets I am shooting extremely accurate with this particular firearm I shot great without a red dot but I'm getting really pretty decent with a red dot so that's the red dot that I chose although if you choose to go with a uh, less expensive you know you can go on you can get a filler plate they run around 60 bucks and you can really uh, get uh, there's a lot of options if you want to go the RMR uh, path. And with a lot of companies, the filler plate will give you the screws that you need. So, you know, if you want to go a different direction, I completely understand that. The next thing I did was this Fiaki LP. I just wanted to make sure I get the model number correct. Yes, the Fiaki LP58 gun light. So this is a gun light. Fiaki is a Chinese company that makes inexpensive products for a lot of gun people. I did a review on their boresight lasers, thought they were really, really high end, and I was really excited about this. So this is a laser that gives you, uh, sorry, a light and laser that gives the option to run a light, run, if you can't probably see it on this, light and laser, or just a laser. And I love the fact that they do green. So it gives you a lot of different options here. It does hang on your Picatinny rail. I don't like the, I do like how Olight gives you, it mounts on the Picatinny and then there is some movement that you can move your light front and back. Just it makes it a little bit easier for people that have maybe different size hands. Mine, my hand fits really pretty good on this. It is really close to the trigger guard. So I think that for a lot of people who are out there, this is probably going to be a good option. I like this one. This kind of comes into a green. They have a flat dark earth. They have a black. A lot of different options. Again, these run around $50 at the time of this video. I went ahead and picked up another one. So in it, I like a lot of the uh, options that it comes with. It gives you nice instructions. It allows you to know how to utilize this. It gives you the tools to mount it on the gun with the Picatinny rail. And it gives you the tool to be able to sight in your laser sight, which was really super easy. I like the fact that when you get it, it comes with an extra set of batteries. You can always use an extra set of batteries. It's a real pretty simple setup. When you get it, you just pull down on this lever right here and it opens right up. I don't like the fact that the whole back plate pops off. That may not have been the thing that I would have chosen with, but you know, for $50, pretty neat, pretty neat setup anyway. It is ready to go. All you have to do is take out that little plastic piece when you get it out of the box and it is ready to go. Again, I like the fact that you have some different options. It comes with the red laser, comes with the green laser. It's really, really a neat deal. And you know, I'm not that tacticool, cool. So it's gonna provide, you know, it says it's 200 lumens. Uh, you know, some of that is, I think it's pretty close to 200 lumens. I think it's a good product. You know, I'm not sitting there out shooting at night all the time. So I'm really not running out of, of battery life on these particular items. 
And, you know, to be honest with you, for the some of these, you know, some of these companies, these surefires, they're selling for $300 to $500 for a light. $50 for what I'm going to use it for is really, really pretty good. So you can pick these up on Amazon. You know, I paid $1,500 for this. I paid $350 for the light, uh, sorry, for the optic. Three hundred dollars, uh, sorry, fifty dollars for the light, and then another sixty dollars for my gas pedal. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a great gun to begin with. I'm shooting with it really, really accurate. I feel like I've made it my own, and I really love the package that I have here. The fact that this gun comes with three twenty-one round magazines. I don't think I'm gonna need to do a lot of other upgrades for this. So. I am excited to find out what you guys have done to your P320, how you've made it just the perfect fit for you. Go ahead and put some comments down below. I would love to see pictures. I'd love to see um, or hear about what you did to yours and why you chose yours. And I, again, I just can't thank you guys enough for supporting the channel. All the likes, the comments, the shares are really, really appreciated. And as always, you stay classy, YouTube. Little baby bucket, do you wanna live in California? No. Why? Because I'm not a compliment.